A number of years ago, I was asked to tell at a concert that was going to be for women's stories. And the featured teller that year was Judith Black. And I was on the stage with three other women that all had recordings. I was the only one that didn't. And I was feeling a little nervous about playing with the big girls. I wasn't quite sure if I was ready for that. So when I got up on stage, something happened to me that had never happened before and never happened since. I was on stage telling my story and my, my lips started to kind of stick together and I was, little did I know, I was getting dry mouth from nervousness. And I didn't know what was happening as I'm telling the story. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what's happening? But afterwards, we had a little gathering. It was a tail spinners party. And while I was standing there, Robert Beekman came up to me. And he gave me some suggestions on my story. I had some music involved in it. And he gave me some great suggestions. And then he gave me suggestions on how to deal with dry mouth by putting a little piece of chewing gum between my cheek and teeth. Well, later that evening, he came up to me and he was concerned. He was worried that he had hurt my feelings in some way. And as I started talking to him, my, my eyes started to well up. I didn't know that I was so emotional. And I just thanked him profusely for caring enough about me and having the courage to come up to me and help me with my stories. And I said, I know you want me to do my very best. And he said, yes, I do. I do want you to do your very best. And there is not a festival that doesn't go by where I think about Robert's courage and kindness and coming up to me. And I only hope that I can pass that on to others.